Jim and Stephen, who'd like to come down. I'm going to give them a little scene to act in in just a moment. But we'd like some, uh, some film styles, some theatre styles. Anyone flower got... pot men. Flower pot men. Oh, yes. Uh, you get a lot of good plays, obviously. <laughs> flower... <laughs> and Thunderbirds. Anybody go out at all to see... The... Pantomime. Pantomime, right. Shakespeare. Theatre of Cruelty. That's what we're doing here. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, that'll do. Uh, so, um, yes, Jim, you're going to Stephen to ask for Stephen's daughter's hand in marriage. OK? Um, where you go. I'll give you some stars a moment. So, you want to marry my daughter? No, I want to marry your daughter's hand. <laughs> what? It, it's the most beautiful hand I've ever seen. I've been in love with that hand since the first day I saw it. The first day it met my cheek rather hard. <laughs> What's wrong with her feet, goddamn you? Feet, I've seen feet like that before, but never a hand like that, so beautifully manicured. Can I? Can I? Oh, can I? You take a hand, you take the rest of her body. <laughs> Pantomime. The rest of her body? The rest of, it's not here, is it? I'll tell you what, boys and girls, if you see the body come up behind me, you will say, <laughs> it's behind you, won't you? No, you won't. Oh, yes, we will. oh well done. So, I'll tell you okay, what, let's, let's sing the body song. You know it, mate. Hang on, let's, let's up the intellectual level to the flower pot men. <laughs> Does she talk like you as well? <laughs> <laughs> Shakespeare. So, is this my daughter's hand I see before me? <laughs> yes, it's hers. I would have a hand, I would have that hand, and I and that hand shall together live as hand and husband. Hand and husband, ne'er shall you live. For did Dunstan would come to us, therefore would we build a hut and live near to see each other again. <laughs> Hang on. I've got, I've got a phone call from the RSC for you two. Uh, they're saying stop doing it like that. Uh, let's end on Western. Well, you gonna let me marry your daughter or what? My daughter, Consuela. <laughs> she don't like you, she told me. She said you're only interested in one thing. A hand. <laughs> Okay, that's it. <laughs> uh, okay. I think, uh, I think uh, Stephen wins that on the more convincing uh, flower pot man impression. Uh, <laughs> 55 points to you. Now let's have uh, Josie and Tony, if you'd like to come on down. Uh, this will be a motion option. I'm going to give you some uh, scenes, to, oh, a scene to do in a moment. Get some different emotions. Uh, something like sort of lustily or something like that. I'll throw that one in myself. Lustily. Depression. Depression. <laughs> Depression. <laughs> I think that was just a sort of general comment about the audience. I had a, a bit of depression up here. Yeah. So depressed, yes. Pity. Envy, yes. And what was that? You said pretty. Were you just talking to me? Oh, pity. <laughs> well, you are talking about me, yes. Envy. So pitiably, yes. Any more? Hate. Greedily. Oh, greedily is a good one. I haven't had that for a while. Oh, let's do that one. And your scene then is uh, what is it? You're in the laundrette. You're two people in the laundrette, or two items in the laundrette, I suppose. Where you go? Your shirt ran very badly, didn't it, in the wash? <laughs> Sorry, are you talking to me? Yes, I am. What cycle should I put my underpants on? <laughs> I've got a Raleigh <laughs> or a tandem. No, that's just my laundrette joke. Let's have a look at your underwear, then. Oh, it's embarrassing. It's a funny tan colour. <laughs> oh, excuse me. <laughs> so I do it in a depressed way. That's not the colour of the underpants. <laughs> I just had a bit of an accident. I know, I can smell you from here. <laughs> it's depressing, isn't it? It's depressing working in a laundrette. I'll just turn down the horizontal hold on that shirt. <laughs> Speak for yourself. <laughs> Gre <laughs> <Stop>. Greedily. <laughs> I love like that shirt, I can't get enough of it. Like it too, and it tastes good. Would you like to try it? Yeah, get out of it first. <laughs> no, no, this shirt is mine. I tell you, mine. No, it's mine. And I want that jacket well, too. Well, you know you can have. I want my underwear. I'm going to eat them. <laughs> Pity. <laughs> You're pathetic, aren't you? Not pity. That's insult. <laughs> pity me for I've just eaten my underwear <laughs> in a public place. Pity, pity, pity. <laughs> didn't, didn't seem to go anywhere. Let's end on lustily. I don't want to pity you. I want to lick you. <laughs> I 
don't want your clothes to go in that washing machine. I want to lick them clean. I want to lick you clean. <laughs> All right. I think I have to give that one to Josie Lawrence. Uh, 53 points there. Now we come to a